So uh, what about the city, Detroit, man, that you love about it? Like, what made Detroit special to you? The culture, man. Just, just the, the vibes, bro. Like, it ain't no city like Detroit. It's just, it's ratchet, but it's so classy in the same sense. Like, you feel me? Like, this the most hoodest, richest shit you ever seen, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the best way I could explain it because it's like... Hood luxury. Yeah, bro. Like, Detroit is like... It's like a Detroit is fucking New York Fashion Week in a trap, bro. Like that's what Detroit <laughs> is, bro. Like that's what the D is. It's just some classy ass, rich hood, rich shit, bro. Like that's how I look at it. I love it. Like I love this shit. This shit is this shit a motherfucker. You just gotta know how to move around here and you know what I'm saying, stay out the way type shit. No, I got you. I got you. So like um Big Sean just dropped the album. Okay. And um, he had the Detroit Cypher on there. Yeah, I just heard. Actually, I just listened to that shit yesterday. Man, what what, what you think about it? And who do you feel like they was missing on that? Me? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. No cap. I'm the only nigga they was missing, for real. You the only one they was missing? Hell yeah. That's all. That's how I look at it. But he got a lot of people. It was, I don't know. Probably a couple more people I would have put on there. Me, if I was, is anybody who would anybody you would have took off? Hell no, uh, uh-uh. so everybody stayed. Everybody on there. stayed on there. So who would you put on there? Other than I know yourself. Now who else? Damn, I would have had to put Peasy on that bitch. Uh-huh. I would have had to put Peasy on that bitch. I would have had to put Dame on that bitch for sure. Who else I would have had to put on that bitch? Hold on, I had to put his name. It was somebody else. All Star J already had to be on that bitch too. He needed to be. He should have been on that bitch. They missed him. When you think about the hip hop culture in Detroit, oh yeah, Aaron Risk Taker D Boy. They should have put that in. Okay, he definitely. He should have been on that too. What do you feel about? How do you feel about the hip hop scene in Detroit? Like, do you feel like it's on the up and up? Like, what? How do you feel like where it's staying right now? Right now, it's it's growing. It's so rapid though. It's growing rapidly. It's just. It's, it's just it's growing so big. It's just it's just gonna take a little bit more love, bro. From who? From everybody, from the artists to the people, bro. Mm. And a little bit more love, bro, in this motherfucker, bro. I think it's so hard up because we hard. You gotta be hard here, bro. You gotta be tough here. You gotta. It's survival of the fittest around this bitch. So you coming up here, that's your mentality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just if you ain't never experienced nothing to break you away from that, then that's that's where it's at. If that if that menta- if that mentality was to just if we all helped each other more and didn't worry about the next person's success or where they go, like how Atlanta do, man, this motherfucker. You you know what's crazy is everybody say that every artist say that everywhere. It's, it's like Atlanta is like this mecca. It of artists is, working. bro. Because I'm gonna tell you, I be spending a lot of time down there. Yeah, a lot of time down there, bro. Yeah, it's just different, bro. But you know what people are saying that about Detroit? Like everybody's starting to look at Detroit kind of like that mecca. Like, bro, if we could get together and work like them niggas in Detroit. Because work, them they niggas together. know. Because it's like Detroit is is. I ain't gonna lie. For a year, it's just start. It's starting to get. It's there. It's getting better now. Yeah, I will say that. It's getting a lot better now, and especially with me, I'm going, I'm going open them floodgates, and I'm going, and you feel me? Yeah. I'm. That's what type of time I'm on. I'm not on. I ain't just worried about myself. I'm worried about opening this door up and bringing the next guys up and creating millionaires and creating wealth. Cause all y'all see is the all you see in Atlanta is the the fruits of the labor of bringing the next man up. That's all you see in Atlanta. Atlanta is a melting pot of bringing the next nigga up. If you look at the music scene in Atlanta and you see from everybody from from the beginning of their whole upbringing of the Atlanta, the whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole culture and they wave. It's always been bring the next man up. You know what I'm saying? And if and if you look at it, look what it's gotten it. Look at the, it's, it's black Hollywood. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So that's when when you twenty years of pulling the next man up, you get Atlanta. So how many years or how far away 
if all worked out the way that you wanted to work out as far as the love, how many, how far away is Detroit from being up there on the level of Atlanta? Shit. I told you, they, that's what they, that's 20 years of work, how they got like that, bro. I don't know, Detroit. But you got to think they didn't have internet back then. Yeah, but internet it's, still, it's it still the same values as applied, mm. though. Fuck the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? The values. You know what I mean? Not fuck the internet, but you but get, get what, what I'm saying? saying? Like the values of the principles. You feel me? And bringing their next mans up and doing that. Like that whole... You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of beef in Atlanta get ceased because it's money on the flow. So what about the beefs in Detroit? Are there beefs in Detroit? No, that's what I'm saying. It's it's Detroit is coming out of that shit. Okay. Got They're coming you. out of that shit. Detroit is seeing the bigger picture. So they coming what used to be a dark cloud over us is now no longer a dark cloud. Now it's just light shining in on us now. It's people putting the bullshit to the side. Gotcha. Let's get this fucking bag. We can get to where Atlanta at and probably, just to answer your question, probably the next 10 if, if niggas really, you feel me? Because it's that much talent and it's that much hustle. Okay. You feel me? No, I got you. It's that much. Well, you ain't got enough hustle and enough talent here. Man, it's, it's crazy. So when, let's talk about you as an artist. So like with your, you know, your music got so much pain, are you, are you a writer? Or are you more so like, a punch in, like, what's your style when it comes to creativity and making music? Um, my style, I'm definitely a writer. Okay. My penmanship is ridiculous. That's probably, that's my strong point with that pen. Can freestyle too. I can do everything, bro. Like, I can get in the booth. You kind of beat on, bro, if I can get on the booth and freestyle a record, bro. Or I could go on the booth. I like writing because it gives me time to format. Got gotcha. you. Break things down and. And, and actually structure it the way I want to structure it so that I can give you a real great song, like a great record. I don't want to give you just a good record. I want to give you a great record. So when I'm in that mode, oh yeah, it's pen, it's pen game. Okay, no doubt. So then like, far as mode and getting in creative modes, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Some people need they drink, far as lean, they need they, they need a, a great studio environment. Like what what takes you to get in that mental zone to go in and create a record? Or do you create all your record from pain? Do you need pain? No, oh, all my records not about pain. I got pain records, I got reality records, I got party records, I got trap records, I got every type of fucking record you can think about. I got music for everybody. It's not you can listen to a J Rocket album and when I do make that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can listen to my shit and it's something from for everybody. Got you. But it's also a, a sound that's soothing to everybody's ears. So even if it's not your per se favorite song, you're still not gonna cut it off. You're still gonna bang that shit. Other than your be a best friend dying, like what do you feel like is the hardest thing you had to overcome? Personally. No, I fuck. No, you good. You good. good. Uh, I, I was hearing like some type of music in my headphone, bro. I knew I wasn't tripping. Uh, okay, I'm good. You good? That, uh, was, that was you? <laughs> no, no. That oh, was, okay. No. We good. Go ahead. So, <coughs> what was it? Oh, so what? Like other than I mean, knowing that your best friend died, mm -hmm. like what do you feel like was the hardest thing you personally had to overcome? Understanding that this music business is just business. Elaborate, like, like getting out, like really not being in my feelings about this shit. Like me, I'm one of them type of niggas where I'm, I'm loyal to the soil. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying? I don't really fuck with niggas for real. Like, gotcha. I don't really fuck with a lot of people like that. <laughs> like I, it's just, I, I don't. I don't really fuck with niggas. So by me being like that. Is like normally I wouldn't fuck with niggas. You feel me? Like got you. you get what I'm saying? Like it's certain shit you gotta do certain shit for business wise. You feel me? Even if you don't really fuck with them personally, it ain't a personal thing. It's just business. You feel me? Got you. So I just learn how to just handle business, keep my business relationships, my business relationships, not not taking them personal. 
So how you feel like when bro, when rappers they meet another rapper for the first time and the next day it's bro, this is my bro, this is my big bro. Like, do you deal with that a lot? Um, no, it's just really it depends. Like, it depends on like see that I don't really. Yeah, like I don't really be around. I don't really be around niggas for real. Like I don't. Like it's certain people that reached out to me, and I'm a vibe person. <clears throat> yeah. So I kick it with you. It ain't gonna take me long to see if you got fucked up motive or fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Disposition or if you really genuine and we click and we link and we make some music and it's cold and we vibe like that, then we just vibe like that. But gotcha. I'm not looking to be these niggas friends. Like no, it's just I don't. I mean, I can't call a nigga my bro, and I just met the nigga. You feel? Because you see that a lot. Like I, you, I watch rappers use the word "bro" as a word to try to gain leverage to get close to another artist to get whatever they want. I don't really think it's just bro. I think bro is just a, a term of endearment in all actuality. Well, I, I would say like this: Yo, that's my brother. They start really taking on like they meet a person and next they like, bro, this my brother. I fuck with him. Like, how's this your brother, nigga? You just met him? Yeah, I don't do that type of shit, bro. Big bro in. Cause a dude got more money than you. Like I, I still think I think all that shit kind of lame to me. Yeah, I don't do all of that shit. It's niggas that I got like, it's niggas I got real relationships with that I know I fuck with. That's in the music. I might say big bro or yeah, bruh. no doubt. I really fuck with these niggas. Like these niggas really. I it ain't I ain't just meet these niggas calling them my brother. Type got shit. you. I don't, I don't so twenty twenty almost over. Twenty twenty one here. What what can we expect from from you coming up? Me, shit, I might just keep unloading, bro. All hit records, still pushing, still dropping videos. I got my channel. I became, I just became a YouTube partner. So okay, that's something big for me. That's a milestone for it's me. Dope as hell. Yeah, I didn't have a channel for fucking forever. Didn't know what I was doing with it. Then I figured out. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Got some sauce on that bitch. So nah, shit is up there on that end. Just shit, just continue working. You might get a project out of me soon. I'm thinking about that. Giving a project because I got singles out already, so I might just add a couple more to it and just give y'all a full project. I'm still kind of debating on that. I like dropping singles because it keeps me fresh. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. And keep and it don't keep y'all bored with me. You know what I mean? Uh, none of my music sound the same. Every song different. Got gotcha. you. Well, shit, man. Hey, I'm rooting for you, man. I appreciate you coming sitting down, man. Oh, man. It was a blessing. When you appreciate come, it, man. When you make it back to Texas, man. Triple D, how oh, you, yeah, man? Oh, yeah, man. I'm on, I'm on you when I go back to Texas, man. It was a couple clubs I was supposed to hit last time I was down there. I ain't get a chance to make it. It was a Medusa. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. But oh, damn. I ain't one. been there in a minute. Okay, then you got to take me somewhere. I'm hey, bro. Up. Come down. We're we going to turn up, man. All right. My man. It's my hey, dog. Well, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Yeah.